today is another worm that we like to dig for whiting. It's called a wriggler. You can see why it's called a wriggler. They're very hard to put on to the hooks because they wriggle around so much. But the whiting love them. So the brim, all, this, all those little type of uh, bread and butter fish. So I'll show you how to catch or dig these things. First of all, the most important thing is one of these types of forks. It's a hay fork. Because it's got lots, lots of, of thin, fork, thin forks. So right. they hold onto it. So what we need to do is... Because the sand's really soft and it doesn't go on the rocks. Mm -hmm. So we're going to dig down and filter the sand through like this. Oh, and, and there we got, see, they get caught on the, the prongs. Are you seeing this, Cheeky? Mm -hmm. They get caught on the prongs. You got one here on the side. Which bucket do they go in? So you just pull them off as you get them. And, oh, there's another one. Empty. Are you in front of the camera again? Mm -hmm. oh. My head. You come over here and be the bucket boy. See, there's one stuck on there again. Nice one stuck on, and you pull it off. Mm -hmm. Keep sifting through the sand a couple of times. Because the, there's one in. Right here? Because they are, they quite uh, often talk through. So, other way, cheeky. Bring it over here. Oh, look at that giant. Nice one. There's another, oh, a double. Oh, that's a double, big one. Show them, Binny. They're nice wrigglers. I that's think that's actually one. three. It's two. Yeah, it's three. What? Count them, oh, min. I got one. Okay. Ah, oh, another one. Two, Bincy, Bin, ah, Bin. Nice, that's a nice juicy wriggler. That's going to be pretty easy to put on those hooks now. Very easy. The important thing is uh, looking for sand next to the ocean. But it has to be particular sand. I don't know the, quite the rule. Oh, there's a juicy one. Yeah, and another one on the side. I don't know the exact rule, but they're around here. You just have to look for them and find them. Now these are the wrigglers. I've, as I said before, I've uh, covered these over with some nice fresh sand. I'm going to use them in the morning, so that's not. Uh, you don't have to really look after these ones. But if they, if you're trying to keep these for a few days before you go fishing, as I said, you would put uh, the, you, the worms that you just collected on top of this sand now, and the good ones would get buried down and the dead ones would stay on top and then you fish out the dead ones as you see them. Uh, you probably need like half a bucket of sand if you keep them for a longer time and you want some, some seawater to keep it, the sand moist. So just sprinkle a bit of sand, uh, water over it, sand, salt water from the ocean just to keep it moist in there. <laughs> if you're trying to keep it on a long time as well the ants might uh, try and get in there, so you might want to cover the top of your bucket with a lid or something. But that's it, they're, they're easy to keep compared to rockworms. 